What's up everyone? I haven't vlogged for a minute. Um, this week has kind of been a shit show, honestly. As far as an agenda for this weekend, it's Friday by the way today, so um, as far as an agenda, I used my lunch break to go pick up some groceries and some booze because my friend from San Francisco is visiting us, so we're gonna just have a pretty low-key weekend because COVID. Um, we're gonna do a bar or like a bonfire tonight, and then I think it's supposed to rain all weekend, which is kind of a bummer because we wanted to go to the beach, but whatever, we'll still do something. Um, so I just ran over to Trader Joe's. Let me show you guys what I got. Okay. I was super hungry, so I got this green smoothie juice, and it's super good. I don't know, it's gotta be good for you too. 300 calories, a lot of carbs, holy shit. A lot of carbs. It's really, really good, but it's super high in carbs. 62 grams of carbs and 56 grams of sugars. Whoa, I should have read this. That ain't that good for you then. I got some salmon. This looked really good. It's cut really nice and thinly, so I can just make that all at once. Got some more half and half because I'm drinking coffee like every day. I got some more pizza crust. This is already pre-made pizza crust that you just freeze. Uh, and then you just throw it right on a pan, add your toppings, and it's ready to go. It's super easy and it's really, really yummy. I like this crust a lot. Um, I was gonna do the cauliflower, but no. I got these Go Bananas, um, chocolate covered bananas. I used to get these from Walmart, like the Dole, Dole had these and they were super good, so I have a feeling these are gonna be just as yummy. Oh, I'm super excited about these. I was watching Emma Chamberlain and she said these cheesecake cones are like amazing, so I might try one right now. I don't think this is cheesecake right here. Maybe it is. There's like caramel or something on them. Something's drizzled on the outside of the cone. It was really good though. I thought this was whipped cream, but it indeed is a cream cheese. I got some pizza crust and some more mozzarella that's in seasoning. So I just use the, the herbs at the bottom of this as like the pizza crust um, seasoning. It's really, really good. Cream cheese, we're gonna make jalapeno poppers. Oh, and I got this also from Emma Chamberlain. It's the vegan um, Caesar dressing. She said it was really, really good. And it's pretty good for you. There's only 70 calories per two tablespoons. So I did buy some spring mix and so I'm just gonna eat this very soon. I also got some posters. I've been trying to figure out how to open this without breaking my nail though. I wish I had some pliers or something. I don't think I have any of that yet. I'm still at the other place. I could stick this into the top. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I, since I've moved in by myself, I realize that I do need a man for some things. But not this. <laughs> Oh my god, that worked too good, actually. Okay, this is a lot smaller than I thought it'd be. And a lot less interesting. So, it's just a black sand beach. Um, not super impressed. <laughs> it doesn't really look like anything. I think if you look at it from farther away, it'll look more so like a black sand beach. But um, the reason I got that is because when I was in Hawaii with my family, like quite a few years ago, we went to the black sand beaches of Hawaii and it was super cool. I mean, like, it looks really cool like looking out into the distance and seeing just black sand, but like when you're actually stepping in it and really close to it, it just looks like dirt. <laughs> so, but it was, it was a very cool experience and so I thought that poster would be kind of cool. I want to keep like a black and white theme and like, you know, not make my art too poppy outy. I want to have just, a very relaxed theme, but also I need some art, so yeah. So I need to go find a poster frame that's 18 by 24 inches. So yeah, thought that was cool. I don't know if I'm that impressed with this specific poster, but whatever. It's crooked as hell. We are done with meetings for the day, hallelujah, because 
oh my god. Half the meetings that I have on a daily basis are just not needed. They can all be written over email. But I think with COVID happening, everyone is kind of shuffling things they don't want to do to the back end of things. And so people are like, let's get on a call so I can tell that you to your face, you need to get this done. So I understand, but it's like, I'm not the one who's screwing up here. It's other people. But, we are going to make some lunch. And we're going to try this dressing. Hopefully it's good. Hmm, very good. Yummy. There we have it. Healthy as hell. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. How have you guys been? It's been so long since I vlogged. I feel like this last weekend was just kind of like I was MIA from the world. So I'm trying to get back on track. It's Tuesday today. So um, you guys, I'm literally so overwhelmed with everything. Like I've just been going, going, going nonstop and I haven't been sleeping well because I don't know, it's really quiet here. I It's very dark in my room too. So I just ordered a white noise machine and a night lamp. Um, just kind of helped me sleep a little bit better. But I knocked out after I took some z last night and that put me right to sleep and I'm just still a little groggy this morning but you guys we have a full week um, so this last weekend I kind of took off um, I might have a few clips of me vlogging I tried to vlog a little bit but honestly I was so MIA I think I'm just going to trash all of it because yeah it just doesn't make any sense but we got a full week this week, you guys. So it's Tuesday today. Um, this week I need to like go clean out the rest of the house, my old house, and just make sure everything is cleaned out. I don't have any like random items. I honestly just gotta throw away a lot of stuff. And then after I do that, I gotta paint. And I'm like, oh my God. So I'm making a list for the week just so I am not overwhelmed because I'm trying to figure out what day I do all of this stuff on so it makes sense, but I have a wedding to go to this weekend but today on the list is I need to clean my room and clean my closet you guys my closet is just it looks like a bomb went off in there it's so messy and it gives me anxiety and I just can't find anything at this point so we're gonna clean up my closet a little bit um, and then I need to edit and upload and post a video and then I needed to do some meal prepping. So that's about it for today. I think I'm gonna keep it really chill. I just need to like zen myself out and be like, you will get it all done. But like when I just have a laundry list of things I have to do and I have to work full time, it's just really hard. Ugh. So yeah. Okay, so I think this is the first thing I'm gonna tackle. This should only take 15 minutes. And that will pretty much clean up the majority of my room, but you guys, this closet. Yeah, that's a, that's later. Let's not overwhelm myself. So let's clean. Boom. Five minutes later, we are done. Um, those are just the things I like to keep up, but yep, clean enough for me for now. Honestly, you guys, when I vlog, I feel 10 times more productive. So let's get into it. I was just, um, making this go to room temperature really quickly. This is just some salmon I got from Trader Joe's. We are gonna meal prep this. So, with salmon, I typically like lemon pepper seasoning, so I just have this from Aldi's, that's all I use, and a little bit of Old Bay and some garlic powder, which, where in the hell would that be? I have some of my seasoning under the sink because I don't know where to put it olive oil at the bottom of the pan. So onion powder, Old Bay. Lemon pepper, lots of this. And rub it in. Gonna cut up some lemon. Here 
here we go I really liked that this was cut in little strips I thought it would be really easy for meal prep and I got it at Trader Joe's so we will see so I also have this massive zucchini so I need to use some of it so I'm gonna cut this up and grill it up on the stove Um, so I ate one slice. That's just the skin on it. Um, I like that it actually sticks onto there because I don't like ever eating the skin. Oh, no. Um, but some zucchini. I throw a little bit of just this like finely shredded Parmesan cheese, which is questionable, but it makes it taste better. And then yum. So good. I definitely like the fish at Trader Joe's way better than Aldi. I love Aldi's fish usually when it's fresh, but I even froze this and it still tasted just as fresh. So I'm going to start getting all my fish at all, or Trader Joe's. I have been the worst vlogger lately, you guys. It's actually so bad. Uh, you guys, I've been busy and I honestly just forget to pull out my camera. It's not even stuff that's like that fun to watch, but yesterday I was painting all night. Like I went back to my first place and we had to paint a few rooms just paint them back to white because we were so stupid and like we painted over hideous colors because like the whole house was colorful before but then we painted over it and it was still colorful so we were just like you know what we really want our security deposit back so we went and painted last night oh lord that took forever but we're done and that Honestly, that was like the big thing I had to do and it was giving me so much anxiety I don't know if you remember from my last clip, but that's what I was doing But you guys now it's Thursday You guys I got my biggest paycheck yet from my side hustle um, And so I'm gonna go treat myself like it was bigger than my like job paycheck and I was like we're doing something right. <laughs> so I am just gonna go to Target and get a few things that I've been needing, but also a few things that I've been wanting. I'm just gonna go treat myself this afternoon. So we are just finishing up the day. You guys need to go watch the Savage X Fenty fashion show. It's on Amazon Prime. If you guys don't have Prime, um, I will have a link in the description box below. You guys can get a free 30-day trial, which includes all your free two-day shipping, Prime TV, Prime Music, all of that. So go check it out. But the Savage X Fenty show was on Amazon Prime and I watched it and it was so good. And now I just want to go get like new bra and panty stuff and loungewear so I think that's kind of what inspired my Target haul and I really like Target's um, underwear and bras and stuff so I'm gonna go pick some of that up um, and then later tonight I need to do some self tanning I'm gonna run over to my old roommates new house she gets the keys tonight so I'm gonna go check it out see what it's all about um, and I also want to edit a vlog tonight, so just a few little minor things, but yeah, and I'm also trying to think of what I need for the house. Like, I need salt. I don't have any salt, and it's been hard to cook without salt. Oh, and I want to get a frame. See, I got to write this stuff down, so I will see you guys later. But I want to show you guys what I got for clothing. So I've been meaning to pick these up forever. It's the Target pajama set and it's so soft so it comes with shorts as well you guys check out this bra it doesn't look like a lot but again it's so soft I hope it fits okay you can't try anything on at Target right now but this is what it looks like so soft unlined nice big straps um, the only thing that I don't like is it doesn't have a clasp in the back so you do have to pull it over which is annoying but I like this I think it'll be good for an everyday bra just at home um, they also had some biker shorts these were $12 so I thought that was pretty good I've been buying my biker shorts from like AliExpress and they're like three dollars but they're like completely see-through but typically you wear biker shorts with like a long t-shirt anyway so it doesn't really matter but I thought these would be nice I've been just wearing my biker shorts every day so I needed another pair forgot to tell you how much this other stuff was the bra was 
15, which love. And then the pajama set was, let's see, 22, so not bad either. And then this shirt was only $5. I debated if I wanted this because I feel like I'll sweat through it, but it was $5 and it's something I can just wear around the house. Super casual, run errands in. It's just a crop top, like loose fitted t-shirt. Shorts, I really hope these fit. I got a wedding card for my friend. I'm just gonna stuff some money in it. And then I got this book called You Are a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life. I don't know, I've seen this so many times and I've always wanted to pick it up and it looks like a really quick, easy read. It's just like actionable steps you can do. So I'm super into it. I'm gonna try and read this tonight a little bit or maybe tomorrow. Um, I got some more air wicks. Every time someone comes into my house, they're like, oh my God, it smells so good. And it's literally just cause I have one of these. Um, I got this Mr. Clean Clean Freak. Um, I watch beauty, by Rosita and she had her little cleaning haul. She is a clean freak. <laughs> and so I definitely trust her opinion and she brought this up. I really wanted to get the pink one but they only had the lavender one. I'm not a huge fan of lavender but um, we'll see. We'll see if I like it. But I really just wanted something like a multi-purpose cleaner that would work well. I've been using the Smartly one and it's all right but it doesn't really last like scent wise. It doesn't last, like keep a lasting scent throughout the house. So I wanted something a little bit stronger. Um, oh, I also got this. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's this uh, Wet n Wild Halo in After Sex Glow, and I'm like, the name sold me. Yes, please. I thought it was just a really pretty highlighter. This reminds me a lot of the Fenty, um, it's a highlighter, it's a kilowatt highlighter, um, but it's also doubles as a blush. And so I thought this one would be a lot like it. It reminded me so much of it. So especially the pink one I'm gonna use a lot. So got that. So the next thing I got was this Lorac Posse um, cleanser. It's a medicated gel cleanser. And my friend who was visiting me last week, I try out all of her skincare every time she comes because she always like just does really well with skincare and like buys good quality products, whereas I like to buy the cheap stuff. So she had this, and honestly, it made my skin so soft after using, like, and it's got a little bit of um, microderm abrasion, or what does it have? Micro exfoliating LHA. I don't know what that means, but it left my skin baby soft, and it has salicylic acid, 2%, so it's a little bit for acne, and I definitely have some acne going on, so hopefully this works. So the next thing I got was this Barkeeper's Friend. It's supposed to be for like oil and grease. Um, so you can use it on your pans, you can use it in your stove. I'm gonna use this inside of my oven to clean it out. When I moved in, they did not clean out the oven, so I am just going to try and use this, and hopefully it works. I should have got one of those um, metal scrapers, but I didn't even think about it. I'll just use a sponge, hopefully. You guys, that was $180. Not much to show for, but I'm really excited about the clothes I got and the book and the face wash, all of it. So after I get done with my friend's house, I'm gonna do a little spa night, use my sugar scrub, use my face wash, put on my new tanning lotion, and yeah, so I'm super excited. Hello, this is me giving you guys a little outro because honestly, I don't even know if I can post this vlog. It's been about three weeks of me just taking random clips of what I'm doing, so it probably makes no sense. So I do apologize. I have just been going at 100 for weeks now. I'm exhausted. I'm like kind of going through it, but we're almost done. I got two more days of moving out and like, the company that I'm renting through has not even contacted us yet. I've called them like three or four times at this point and no one has called me back. So are we going to leave the keys in the mailbox? It's looking that way. I don't know. But all I know is I better get my security deposit back or else I'm going to walk down to that office and demand it back. But <laughs> that was a little ramble. Um, 
You guys, today it's Monday, so I'm just getting back into the groove of working. I've been cleaning, working, all of that. It's just a very busy day. Um, but this weekend was so much fun. So on Friday, I went and helped my roommate paint her new apartment. It was like this ugly green color, so we painted it white, and it's much brighter and looking so much better and cleaner because it was kind of like dingy and ugh. yeah, it's an older place. Um, so we did that Friday night, and then Saturday morning I woke up and filmed my favorites. If you guys haven't entered my giveaway, go to that video. I will have it linked in the description box. Go to that video, enter the giveaway. I'm giving away a Sweet Sweat belt, and it will close on August 31st. And after I filmed that video, I had to change real quick, get ready for the wedding. I was wearing this cute little um, royal blue dress that I got from Amazon. I'll have it linked in the description box below. I highly recommend it. It's like the cutest dress, and it's so form-fitting and flattering. And typically, I wouldn't wear anything like tight like that to a wedding, but it just looked really, really nice. So, loved that. Um, the wedding was so much fun. We are out in a literal farm, so I was hanging out with like goats and goats, a donkey, I think. <laughs> Whatever. It was a lot of fun. We danced literally all night. I got a little too turned. So the next morning I woke up and then we, I went home, I was staying over at my friend's house that night, fell back asleep and then I had to go clean and move the rest of my stuff out of my house and we are going back there tonight and like just cleaning and being done with it. Hopefully we can get everything done tonight because I'm not trying to go back again and again every night. I just want to be done with it, have it cleaned out fully. So fingers crossed we can get that done tonight because I'm not trying to do this until Wednesday. So you guys, thank you so much again for watching today's vlog. I know it was everywhere, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is how my life has just been for the last two or three weeks now. It's just been like craziness. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. Bye.